Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect to MySQL database in localhost. That means we have PHP MyAdmin. So uh, we are going to create .NET Core Visual Studio C# -sharp application and connect to that database. Firstly, I need to set up a database. For that, I will go ahead and install WAMP or SAMP. Now normally uh, here I'm using SAMP in my Mac so I will use SAMP in Windows also. I will download this. Uh, there are some latest version right? So I can download this one which is the uh, using the latest PHP version. Okay, that is downloading and after installing that we can create our database. Now the thing is uh, this works with the uh, .NET Core. If you are using .NET Framework better you can uh, watch another video maybe I could uh, do that in future but here I'm going to do this with .NET Core. Okay, that is uh, downloaded. So I can open this, click install. I will press next, 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 next. Okay, now we have to press allow access all right now i will press finish and it will uh, start it i guess yeah it is started so i will press start apache and then mysql i will allow access for mysql now all right now i can go to my local host forward slash php my admin that is it so here I'm going to create my database for our software I will select new the database name will be sample and then press create okay now we are not going to create tables in this video just we are going to connect with the database all right now I will press this create a new project as I told you we are not going to use .NET Framework. Here I will search Windows Form. You will see multiple options. But remember we are not going to use this .NET Framework. But we are going to use this one. A project template for creating .NET Windows Form WinForms app. Now I am going to press Next. Here, I'm going to save my project name as sample connection. Now press next. Here, I will just go to create the project now. Okay, now we are going to install some packages using Nougat Package Manager. To go to there, go to Tools and then go to Nougat Package Manager. Go to Manage Nougat Packages for Solution. Here, select the Browse option and then type MySQL. Now result will be appear but you cannot see because you had to scroll to the top otherwise you will not see the result because it is uh, in the top of the result. So due to a bug or anything uh, it is in the some down. Now I will press install. Press 
press ok accept all right now i'm going to search next package which is nougat dot framework now if you search the result will appear but you had to scroll to the top and then this is the package select that and select your project here and then press install okay now to confirm whether these are installed or not here in this your project in the uh, solution explorer view solution explorer this one in this dependencies path you will see these packages inside that you will see this mysql.data and then nougat.framework okay now i will go to my form and then double click on my form now in the top before the name space project name i'm going to say using mysql.data.mysql client and then semicolon and after here let's uh, code here in this constructor or maybe you can do this coding in anywhere i'm just going to do here so i will firstly create my connection string i will say this as mysql uh, this is mysql right mysql con is equals to double quotations server is localhost now let me go ahead and show you how we can find this server name now if you go to the php my admin home if you are in some cloud environment or maybe in localhost sometimes the ip address might be visible here but if you are using some uh, cloud environment you will see some uh, working ip address that accessible that can go to your server if you are using a local environment you will see localhost or something like this I'm going to just uh, copy this and then paste that here okay and then end up with the semicolon now user normally user will be if you want to find what is the user account you, you can go to this user accounts here you will see this root and then there are no such password so I can say here there are no such password root and then uh, semicolon the database is the sample and then semicolon the next one is password I will say just equal symbol and that's all and then finally add the semicolon okay now I will create my SQL connection The variable name for this I will say mysql connection is equals to new mysql connection and then parenthesis inside parenthesis I am going to pass in my connection string this one and then finally semicolon. Now I will add my try catch to see if there are any error or not. To the catch this statement I will say exception ex. And finally, let me go ahead and add the final keyword because we have to detect whether these X statements are being executed. So this finally keyword come to play after these are executed. So here we can uh, close our connection mysql connection dot cross parenthesis semicolon. Now here in this try, I'm going to say mysql connection dot open, and then uh, I will just show some message to see the connection is success. I will say connection success, and then mysql uh, 
that is fine because we are close in the mysql connection in the finally keyword so here i will say some message message box dot show ex dot message okay now we can just go to run the application connection success that means our connection is success it is connected to our database all right in the next video we are going to see how we can read data from the database to create a login application and uh, don't worry i will come up with more tutorials don't forget to follow the playlist for this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you